y'all. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Kendall. And we're Chasing Grace. Welcome back. So, I'm sure you're all dying to know by now. But, what we're about to do is, we don't even know yet. We're about to find out with y'all who the winner of the giveaway is. We're so excited. So, without further ado... Dun, da, 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 random number generator. How many people were there? 107. Okay. So this week, we just wanted to kind of explain the meaning behind Chasing Grace because we're starting to put our name out there a little bit. Like, we've got shirts and some stickers and stuff. Fancy stuff. Yeah, stuff that we've been working on. So, I felt like it was very fitting if we explained what Chasing Grace meant to us, like why we chose that name, yeah, and kind of what it means to us in our own lives, aside from just our channel so and what we hope it means to you and yeah all that fun stuff so yesterday I think it was yesterday I posted something on our Instagram and it was John 1 16 it says from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace and I just love that verse so much because yeah. it kind of just like just like that I think it was a verse from First Timothy. I said it, it's like a mantra for us. It kind of captures everything that we're about. So we just wanted to talk about grace this week. Um, I read something somewhere, and it said that you can't fully understand what it means to be in a relationship with Christ if you don't fully understand the concept of grace. And grace... I don't know like the exact definition of it, mm -hmm. but it's like unearned, unmerited favor. And so chasing grace literally means chasing undeserved favor or chasing a relationship with the Lord. And that's just what we want to do. We just want to chase after the Lord, run after him with our whole hearts and just chase the grace that he so freely gives. And I think Grace, like, Grace is actually Kendall's middle name. Fun yeah, fact. it is. <laughs> I wanted our name to be Chasing Ivy. That's oh, my, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, just kidding. But I was reading a book, and if any of you have ever read it, you probably haven't. It's kind of old. Um, it's by Max Licato. It's called Come Thirsty. 100% recommend that you should read it. He, it's really good. It's very good. It's so funny. Like, that's something that's kind of hard to come by is stuff that's super relatable especially when people are talking about a topic as big as eternity like yeah. hello yeah but he just puts it so simply and it makes so much sense when he talks about grace and it's just something that that I mean I love the word chasing to go like before it yeah because grace is just something that you have to live in it's mm -hmm. what God offers us so freely what Jesus gave us on the cross and yeah before he, like before we even were born he said here's my body here's my blood and cleanse us from everything that we would ever do before we even did it yeah and I oh my god I just got chills <laughs> like it just it makes me smile so big because in one little word like grace that's everything that Jesus offers us yeah and so I just think it's so powerful like I was listening to a song the other day on the way home, and I don't know, I guess some, a lot of the people that watch this can probably drive, but <laughs> if you're ever in your car and you just, like, crank up the music, like, that is my time to worship. Yeah. Like, I told Kendall, I said, I think Jesus was in my car tonight <laughs> when I got home because I just came home and I was bawling my eyes out, and I was singing at the top of my lungs while still being safe. Yes. I was driving safe, Mom, I promise. <laughs> but... I just was bawling my eyes out and I just broke down. I was like, it was run to the father. I'm not sure who sings it, but it, I just think that's such a beautiful picture. Like if we're chasing grace every running single day after and running after it, ultimately we're running towards the father and he's always going to be like in my head. I just picture him standing there and he's like, my child, yeah. come here. I'm, I'm here to catch you. And, oh, it just gives me chills. I love it so much. Well, also because the Father gave us grace so freely, we need to give grace to other people. Mm -hmm. So 
that we are reflections of the Father and that people see His love through us mm -hmm. and how we freely give grace because He freely gave it to us. Like, we, ultimate sacrifice. we mess up all the time and mm -hmm. we are so undeserving, but the Lord just wipes us clean and He's like, mm -hmm. here, here you go. And so we need to be, don't look at people's past or don't look at their mistakes or how they've hurt you. I mean, I know that's hard mm -hmm. and it's really challenging, but we need to offer grace and we need to offer forgiveness because that's what the Lord calls us. And if we live a life in grace, in that mm -hmm. mindset, then everything we do, it'll flow out of us and people will see the joy that comes with being a Christian mm -hmm. and people will see the love of the Father through us. And that's something that's so crazy to me is that every week when we get ready to do these videos, we figure out a topic, like we talk back and forth, just bounce off ideas from each other and just mm -hmm. be like, hey, what's been on your heart? Like, hey, this is what's been on my heart. And we're, yeah. we figure out what to talk about. Every single week, it never fails that we always end up talking about something that's so relevant in our lives. Yeah. Like, in no way do I want to portray the image that we're perfect. Yeah, because we're we are, not. <laughs> we are far from it. But everything that we're saying, we're talking to ourselves. Right. Like, we talk about this all the time. We're like, I needed to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> like, God, <laughs> obviously. But it's just so powerful that we get to do this. And that's yeah. another thing, like. It helps us. It really does. Like, we've talked about it before, how much closer we've gotten to each other mm -hmm. through doing this, how much stronger our relationship is with the Lord, like, in our personal lives. And then when we come together, it's us just, like, growing with each other and yeah. kind of holding each other accountable for things. Yeah. And so it's just been so amazing and such a blessing to see where this has gone. And our prayer is that it blesses you too. Yeah. Like, so many people have reached out to us and said the kindest words. Yeah. And never in a million years did we think that people would even want to listen to us. <laughs> never in a million years did we think we would be doing this. No. But here we are. I, like, honestly, I was like, I don't have anything to say. That right. was at the beginning of all this. I was like, uh, yeah, I can make a video talking about myself. But, like, after that... I don't know what I would even talk about. And every week, God just shows up and shows out. And yep. that's just been our prayer up until this point. It's just like, Lord, I, here I am. Use yeah. me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so we just wanted to kind of clarify a few things and just make sure that now that we are putting our name out there, that you guys actually know what it means to us. Yeah. And we hope that if somebody's if you're out somewhere or something and someone ask you oh what is that awesome <laughs> shirt you're wearing you're like what does that mean well in the bible <laughs> <laughs> and we just hope that this has been as much of a blessing to everybody watching as it has been in our own lives yeah absolutely so do you want to pray i'll pray okay we're just gonna pray really quickly and then we have an announcement announcements 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 <laughs> okay let's pray hey jesus thank you so so much for this time lord and i just thank you for your grace that you so freely give lord and give us hearts that are never numb to your grace lord give us hearts that never grow weary of chasing after a relationship with you god we just pray that you've blessed this time bless this podcast and video lord and we just pray that your will be done and that you use it to glorify yourself. We love you. Thank you for the cross. Amen. Amen. That was good. Thank you. Kendall's very good. I pray out loud in case you I, in I case you haven't noticed. And I just talk and to Jesus. I pray out loud and I'm like, uh <laughs> I just talk. <laughs> so she's very good at that. I'm not. So some of you might be wondering who is the giveaway winner. I mean, that's probably why you're here. We hope you got some Jesus while you were here. Right. But we just want to announce it. I'm so excited. Are we going to say it on three? We can. Okay. Okay. 
One, two, three. Ashley Roderick. Ah, Ashley, we're so excited. We literally found out. Well, obviously, y'all saw us find out. We were like, oh. But we're so excited and we can't wait. We will get in touch with you. Yes, so keep an eye out for that. And we'll try to get it to you as fast as possible if Corona doesn't get in the way. Yes, we're going to try and mail it or bring it. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Also, I don't even think I told Kendall that I was going to say this. So this is an announcement to you two. Oh, okay. But a lot of people have reached out and been asking if we were planning on selling the shirts or selling the prints or selling stickers. Mm -hmm. And the answer is yes. Ah, so exciting. We're very excited and we've been working very hard on everything. Yes. The men's design. Coming it, soon. Coming very soon. We're still working on that, figuring out a few things. But we will be selling the shirts because this summer, Kendall and I were actually supposed to go on a mission trip to Mexico. But, but obviously, Corona. That is not mm. going to be possible this year. But we're going next summer. Hopefully. Hopefully. We're very bummed that we couldn't go this summer. But we will be going next summer. Fingers crossed. So all of the pro proceeds? Is that the All word? the money. Profit? You, I don't know. For, <laughs> for your shirts that you pay us. We will be putting that towards our funds to raise money to go to Mexico. To go to Mexico. Next year. So we didn't want to just be like, hey, money, like yeah. start pocketing stuff. <laughs> so we wanted it to be for a purpose. We just wanted to figure out like what we were going to decide to use that for. So I think what better? I know. I'm really excited. We're, oh my gosh. So I can't stop smiling. <laughs> but um, we're, it's, we're still figuring out some of the kinks. Like the yeah. best way to do everything when we'll, we're gonna do our thing. But we'll figure out the details and let everyone know. Yes. You won't be left in the dark. Right. Don't worry. Everybody will be breaking down our doors for a t shirt. <laughs> or a sticker. Or a sticker. Or print, because yeah. I I will be doing prints. I've actually already done one if you wanna like message me. But <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, we're very excited and thank you for sticking around. We love you. We do. Oh, <laughs> that's the first time we've said the L word. Oh my God. We love we you love guys. You. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.